The Quantum Reality Gap As kids, we were all educated with the underlying premise that solid things acting upon solid things is the only way a solid thing changes. This, in fact, is still the prevailing worldview held by the majority. However, with the advent of quantum physics, that snarly and deeply subversive science that claims nothing is solid, has, well, created a whole new level of cognitive dissonance. That is, if you're tuned in. The problem, in my view, stems from a deeply ingrained overdependence on our almighty tool using perceptions. If you can hold it in your hand, bang it on something, it's, well, real. This could not be argued with for thousands or hundreds of thousands of years of human evolution here on planet rock. But now, it can. I don't think people get the full impact of this extreme change in reality. It's like your postman came by with that blimp you ordered and just put it in your curbside mailbox. You went out to retrieve it, realizing it was quite impossible that it was there at all, but then you pulled it out, all 100 yards of it, and scratched your head, but loaded the kids up in the blimp and headed out for ice cream. That's cognitive dissonance, my friends, and that's basically the world we live in now, but we don't really get that it is. Anyone who knows me has heard of my current fascination with access consciousness. I love this modality because it requires you to live in the question, as opposed to always seeking answers. This flies in the furry face of all us monkeys trying to figure out what tool to use to find the next answer. Because if you have the answer, you can solve that problem. And by solving that problem with that answer, you think all is going to be happier, or at least understand why that problem is going on. Well, that's all bullshit, actually. With access consciousness, they push to stay in the question, ignoring answers, and simply being content with the awarenesses that show up as a result of being in the question. By using this approach, you create a far greater range of potentials and possibilities, or quantum entanglements, from which you can choose your preferences. The challenge with this mode of thinking and knowing is that it is pretty much the opposite of what we try to do, so we're much less willing or even able to accept that a question can create so much change. It's a reality gap, a quantum thinking gap. You mean we're actually creating every single moment that is happening to us? Yep. Even if you buy that, even a little bit, it's a bitch to wrap your head around it. In fact, the more you buy into the self as creator paradigm, the more cognitively dissonant things become because you realize that because nothing is actually solid anymore, which was an illusion in the first place, a mere passing thought or intention can completely change your life in a moment. Of course, this was always true before, but back then we attributed life changes to fate, karma, coincidence, or synchronicity without realizing that all these escape terms are actually code for you create everything. The trick, I think, is to acknowledge that the way we think and how we feel about it are fundamental drivers, even more than that hammer on that nail. In fact, that hammer and nail were created by our thoughts, intentions, and feelings. It's a little or a lot scary, but it does make the world a very magical place. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin, brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from... Pure Energy RX www.pureenergyrx.com